Hey, want to see me eat my own face? No, we've done this. Fuck you. I don't know who you think the target audience is for that one, but... Kids. Kids. Speaking of that, did you see the new documentary on HBO, uh, Quiet on Set, about all of the abuse that happened on the set of the Nickelodeon shows? I did watch the very disturbing documentary, Quiet on Set. Very horrendous. I, I, I do have a few gripes, though, with the parents on how they conducted themselves. All right. This 11-year-old girl gets a job on the show Amanda. Amanda, right, yep. And one of the PAs starts emailing her back and forth, which is weird anyway. This guy was in his 30s. The kid's 11. The parents don't think it's weird that this guy's emailing her, and she was aware that he was emailing her. So I guess one of the emails was of the guy jerking off. So this is what the mom does. She pulls the kid off the show. But that's it. It doesn't say anything to anybody. Obviously, you know that your kid isn't special and she's the only one he's doing it to. He's probably doing this to all kinds of kids, but she says nothing. I think the scenario there was she didn't want to, for good or for ill, jeopardize her daughter's chance of being part of the industry. Well, that's fucking disgusting. So, kind On the of a, part. a selfish move because you don't want to jeopardize your daughter's potential career by saying something, but by not saying something, it allows the behavior of that sexual predator to continue. Yes. And in this scenario, have him sexually assault somebody else because you didn't say anything, right? The greater good should supersede everything else in this situation. Well, here's the thing. The second your kid gets an email of some dude jerking off. Yeah after you pull your pants back up. The fact that she didn't go right to the police, right. and then she questions it, and she's like, I'm, I wasn't sure what to do if I should go to the police. I don't know, you think you should have? Right. It reminds me of that time I was on that kid's show. Which one? Uh, to Catch a Predator. At least Drake Bell's dad, right away, knew something was up with, what was his name, Brian Peck? Yeah. Kudos to that dude. Like, he is the hero of the piece, even though horrific things still happen to Drake Bell. The fact that he knew the signs right away, he was one of the best parts of the documentary. And how did that, how did Brian Peck only get, I think, 16 months of prison time? That's crazy. Sentencing a gay pedophile to prison would be like sentencing me to the Playboy Mansion for 16 months. But I don't think he was into older guys. He was into boys. Yeah. And those generally aren't in well, that's why big was boy prison. Well, that's why it's even more infuriating that he, they uh, sentenced him to the 16 months at a juvenile detention center. Right. Let's talk about this piece of shit a little bit, right? Why are we talking about Gorlock again? He looks like he'd smell like turkey water. He's holding lots of turkey water in his gullet. Look at that thing. Even though these are just allegations, the fact that he was such a monster in a different way to these poor, impressionable children on the set of the shows that he was in charge of and mostly left alone to run... That should be enough to have this guy out of Hollywood forever. And it turns out he's trying to explore the possibility of getting back into television production. I mean, he's good looking and all, but... I think that's actually what you would look like if you had real hair. That, that good? Yeah. Look at this guy. Now I like him. He looks nice. What? Imagine you're Drake Bell and you wake up and this is sodomizing you? Like, are well, you fucking serious? But he didn't say that. He said that he was being sexually assaulted when he woke up. But I, when he was talking about the first encounter with this creep. Right, he woke up and he was being sexually assaulted. So who assaulted. knows, maybe he was sucking his dick or right. something. Now, all right, no, I can't say it. I was going to say it, but we'll get too much pushback. Say it. To me, 15's too old to go along with the program. If he said he was 11, uh, I could see it. But when I was 15, I had a couple weird things happen to me, and I didn't put up with it. Right. Meaning, I was like, what the fuck? Right away. So just be careful because they call that victim blaming. Yeah. And you're considering your upbringing as a normal 15-year-old boy. One of the most insidious parts about child abusers is the psychological and emotional manipulation that leads up to these events, commonly referred to as grooming, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like this was some stranger whose sofa he was sleeping on. This is somebody that he trusted. Until the sexual assault happens, you really don't know what this individual is capable of or interested in, right? Yeah. Remember when this happened, when this shitbag allowed this to happen, 
right before Drake and Josh was about to start production, right? Yeah. So he's dangling the proverbial carrot in front of him while he's sodomizing him with the stick. You're on the cusp of individual stardom. You're not just part of an ensemble cast. You're the star of the show. That's when he strikes because he knows that 15 year old boy wants to be that star. That's his dream. And that's one of the most twisted parts of this particular tale. Now, the fact that this guy only got 16 months in prison and he's still able to just walk the streets today is beyond ridiculous. You don't think he'd reoffend, do you? No, they never do. No. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Once they're in there, they yeah. kind of learn their lesson. Yeah, 16 months is enough time to be fully rehabilitated when you're a child sex offender, right? So, 100%. yeah, now he's a productive member of society. It's great because he's working with children again. Yeah, I think he went to summer and camp. Warning them of the dangers sure. of working with pedophiles. Right. Which, I mean, you got to give the guy credit. I do. Yeah. So I'm glad that at the end of the documentary, they brought up the Drake Bell probation for sexual grooming of a minor, because if they didn't put that in there, that would have been really suspect, right? Yeah. He was engaging in texts, allegedly, with a 12-year-old. Jesus. Well, this it started when she was 12. They had continued to talk maybe over a course of a few years. And then she said that he had sent her inappropriate texts. And after the investigation, he pleaded no contest and was actually sentenced to probation for these charges. So there was at least something there. To me, when I see this, I see the direct correlation of somebody like Corey Feldman or Corey Haim or Drew Barrymore or Eddie Furlong, right? Mm -hmm. Who these child actors raised around adults, not all of them sexual predators, just conducting themselves as adults. And that really twists your view of what adulthood is going to be. Yeah. And that's the machine that spits out these really fucked up adults who were childhood stars. It's crazy. Here's a theory that I have. So I, I think if you're molested as a young child, fucks up your inner wiring. Right. So you know, you know the the, the things that kind of made you kind of like attracted to what you're attracted to when you were young, like things that you saw or sure. things you experienced. Were During kinda, your formative years, particularly, yeah. Yes, and thankfully, none of us were ever molested. Well, you might have been, but you were a lot cuter than me. But when these creeps get a hold of these kids, I think that that kind of rewires them into a certain way. That's why you see so many of these pedophiles were actually molested themselves. Sure. Well, look at the alcoholics. Yeah. You know, a lot of them were raised by alcoholic parents. Yep. So you're kind of imitating what happened to you. You're reenacting that. Imagine being raised by an alcoholic pedophile. Right. Holy shit. I almost see it as they're infecting you with a disease. When those pedophiles get a hold of these little kids, they're almost infecting them with it. And then it goes on and on and on. Let's be clear. Drake Bell was not accused of any sexual contact with a minor. It was just text and maybe He was head off at the pass before he could. Potentially, because again, either the girl or the girl and her mother came forward, mm -hmm. which is always the best course of action, even though it might not seem like it at the time. The way that Drake Bell was treated as a 15-year-old boy, there is no excuse for this, but it's not terribly surprising that something like this no. would be alleged. Yeah, that's you're still developing at that age mentally. So yeah. that would really fuck you all up. No, I, I got through the whole thing. And you know, when I was done, dude, and I pulled up my pants, I was just like disgusted by the whole thing, you know? You mean the whole mess? The whole mess that I made on my stomach. <laughs>